I mean, boom height is, uh, for example, a very uh, important way of managing spray drift. Low booms are very effective at reducing drift. One of the problems has been recently that our booms are getting wider, and although the suspension system has been been getting more sophisticated as well, our boom heights have tended to be higher because the booms have gotten wider. But more recently now, this is to prevent the boom from hitting the ground. Uh, more recently now, uh, we have automatic boom height controllers that sense the location of the boom, make adjustments to the hydraulics, and keep the boom level and low. Those are a very good thing. And um, that is allowing us now to look at boom height again as a, as a best management practice. Uh, low booms work better in a number of situations. I already mentioned drift, but they also increase canopy penetration and they increase the effectiveness of an angled spray. So if you look at a twin fan or even just a forward or backward facing nozzle, that kind of an adjustment uh, really gets traction with a low boom height. With a high boom height, it's the effect is virtually lost. The sprays are deflected in the oncoming headwind from, a, from this travel speed, uh, they become just a, a passive cloud before they hit the canopy and the whole idea of a twin fan nozzle is lost at a high boom height. So the low boom is an important management strategy.